Welcome to our Pecha Kucha presentation on Jean Piaget and Lev Vygotsky. We'll explore their developmental theories, highlighting Piaget's focus on individual cognitive stages and Vygotsky's emphasis on social and cultural learning. Discover how these insights shape modern educational practices as we delve into their admired qualities, ethical views, and unique contributions to understanding child development. Piaget's pioneering spirit and willingness to challenge conventional wisdom led to a profound understanding of child development, empowering educators to create student-centered, active learning environments that tailor instruction to individual needs. Vygotsky emphasized the importance of social influence on cognitive development. Thus, he believed that more knowledgeable others need to provide guidance or modeling and attach the meanings to objects, events and experiences. That is, Vygotsky's theory encourages collaborative and cooperative learning. Scaffolding and reciprocal teaching are the keys to his learning styles. Critics say Piaget's theory focused too much on how children think on their own and didn't give enough attention to how the environment influences their development. While he tried to balance both, he mostly talked about how children fit new experiences into their existing ways of thinking and gave less attention to how they change their thinking based on new experiences. This made his theory seem more about built-in traits than about learning from the world around them. A criticism of Vygotsky's theory is his emphasis on the active construction of knowledge and language development. He emphasized that children actively learn about social cultures with the help of adults and acquire knowledge, including languages. However, some learning also occurs passively or without much support from others. Furthermore, sometimes the acquisition is slow despite the support children get. Piaget's commitment to integrity led him to champion active learning. He believed in children's innate ability to construct their own understanding through hands-on exploration and discovery. Piaget emphasized that learning should not be a passive absorption of information, but an active process where children engage with their environment to build knowledge independently. Vygotsky emphasized the importance of culture, children's relationships with others, and the zone of proximal development. The gap between what children can achieve independently and what they can accomplish with guidance or collaboration from adults or more capable peers. This concept best exemplifies Vygotsky's theory as it highlights the role of the more knowledgeable other in children's learning, closely tied to the influence of cultural context. Looking through the lens of respect, Piaget's value for children's independent thinking was evident in his careful listening, treating them as active thinkers while observing their actions and engaging in meaningful conversations to understand their perspectives. Looking through the lens of respect, Vygotsky's emphasis on culture and social interaction underscores the importance of valuing each child's unique cultural background and the role of collaborative learning. This approach highlights how children develop cognitive abilities through respectful, guided interactions with more knowledgeable others, fostering an environment where diverse perspectives are appreciated and integrated into the learning process. Piaget is famous for saying, Knowledge is derived from action. This means that children learn through active interaction with their environment, constructing knowledge by coordinating their actions. Instead of merely observing, children engage with the world, discovering physical properties and concepts like numbers through direct experience. Vygotsky is famous for saying, what a child can do with assistance today, she will be able to do by herself tomorrow. Vygotsky believed the zone of proximal development was the most effective way of learning because it involves essential student-teacher interaction, guiding learners toward independent achievement. Piaget's key words, schemas, constructivism and egocentrism, describe children as active thinkers who use mental frameworks to integrate new information, often focusing on their own perspectives. In contrast, Vygotsky's key words, social, interactive and cultural, emphasize that cognitive development is driven by social interactions within cultural contexts and guided by more knowledgeable others. Piaget's work is valued for promoting autonomy in learning. He emphasized that children should actively engage in the learning process, constructing knowledge independently 
through exploration and hands-on experiences. This approach encourages children to think critically and develop problem-solving skills, fostering independence rather than relying solely on direct instruction. Vygotsky's work is valued for promoting collaboration in learning. He emphasized the importance of supportive, scaffolded interactions between more knowledgeable individuals, such as adults or peers, and learners. Through this collaborative process, learners can accomplish tasks they could not achieve alone, gradually gaining skills and understanding. This approach highlights the role of social interaction in cognitive development, fostering cooperation and shared problem solving, which contributes to both learning and overall well-being. Piaget was right to highlight the importance of children's active construction of knowledge as the foundation of cognitive development, even if his stage theory may not fully capture the nuances of this process. Vygotsky was correct to emphasize the crucial role of social interaction and cultural tools in shaping cognitive development, as evidenced by the enduring influence of concepts like the zone of proximal development and scaffolding in educational theory and practice. Piaget and Vygotsky both acknowledged the role of social interactions in learning, but differed in emphasis. Piaget viewed development as universal, sequential and independent of social context, whereas Vygotsky believed cognitive development varied across cultures, with social interactions and language playing a fundamental role in learning. Piaget's emphasis on the child's active construction of knowledge, their progression towards moral autonomy, and the importance of cognitive conflict for development suggests that individual autonomy serves as the foundation for his ethical framework. Vygotsky emphasized the role of culture and social interactions in children's learning, suggesting that cognitive development initially occurs on a social level through interactions with others before being internalized on an individual level. In conclusion, our exploration of Jean Piaget and Lev Vygotsky's theories reveals their shared belief in active knowledge construction while highlighting their distinct approaches. Piaget emphasized stages of cognitive development and individual learning processes, whereas Vygotsky focused on the cultural and social contexts that influence learning. Together, their insights have significantly shaped educational practices, offering valuable perspectives on how children learn and grow in diverse environments.